uh, is simple to me. Canada needs more people. Canadians understand the need to continue to grow our population if we're going to meet the needs of the labour force, if we're going to rebalance a uh, worrying demographic trend, and if we're going to continue to reunite families and to do right by the world and make good in our commitments to support some of the world's most vulnerable. Uh, my view is that Canada is uniquely positioned in the world uh, to use immigration to achieve these outcomes. You know, immigration in Canada is not just something that we do, it's, it's who we are, it's, it's who we've always been. Uh, with the exception of Indigenous peoples, um, every family in Canada has the opening chapter of their history include the story of a migrant. Uh, my family happened to show up about 250 years ago and I live only 15 minutes away today uh, from where those first vessels landed from Scotland on the shores of Nova Scotia. Uh, Sean, you shared that you're the, uh, the, the son of uh, an immigrant tradesperson. Um, this is the story of Canada, folks, and it's going to continue to be the story of Canada. You know, some of our families uh, have come a long time ago in, in search of economic opportunity. Others have come to be reunited with their loved ones. Uh, others still may not have left their country of origin by choice, but, but needed to flee to escape violence, war and persecution. And Canada has a long and proud tradition of uh, maintaining open doors to people who seek to come here for uh, whatever reason it may be. <coughs> Nous sommes une uh, nation uh, qui s'est construite grâce à l'immigration. Et comme vous le verrez dans le plan de niveau d'immigration de cette année, nous continuerons à accueillir les nouveaux arrivants pour soutenir notre économie et faire croître nos communautés. You know, immigration is not just good for our economy, it's essential. We can't get by without it. To understand the economic imperative of welcoming newcomers, I think it's helpful to place this in the appropriate economic context. You know, Canada has experienced one of the strongest economic recoveries from the COVID-19 pandemic. We've recovered significantly more jobs than were lost during the pandemic. Our GDP levels are well in excess of pre-pandemic levels. A couple of months ago, we hit the lowest rate of unemployment in the history of Canada. Uh, yet still, there's challenges. Life's been getting more expensive. It's driving up the cost of building projects. And it's hard to find workers. Uh, the reality is you don't need to uh, dig into the stats to understand that there was a, a million jobs available in the Canadian economy. You need to walk down Main Street of any community in Canada. You're going to see help wanted signs in the window. This is the economic context that we're living through right now. This year's immigration levels plan will help address some of these challenges that I've outlined by setting a new target from 431,000 this year to 465,000 next year, 485,000 in 2024, and 500,000 in the year 2025. These targets are supported by a plan that's going to leverage new tools, not only to get people here, but to meet the specific needs of the Canadian economy and facilitate the settlement of newcomers in communities that have the greatest capacity to absorb them. Our plan has a focus on economic growth. And by the third year of this plan, 60% of new immigrants will be admitted under economic immigration categories. In 2023, this coming year, we're going to deploy new selection tools to better target sectors that have the highest need for labour in consultation with experts and provincial and territorial partners. We can't afford to keep bringing doctors here who aren't able to work as doctors. We can't afford to bring skilled tradespeople here who aren't working as skilled tradespeople. We're going to work with provinces that are taking steps to recognize the foreign credentials of skilled newcomers to make sure that they can work in hospitals and help build homes across the country. The new mechanism in our immigration system will provide a more nimble and flexible way to match our selection criteria with the specific labour shortage pressures and address strategic opportunities by attracting newcomers with the skills that will be in demand in Canada over the course of the next generation, including specifically the workers who are going to help relieve pressures on our healthcare system and build more homes for Canadians.